This video provides a solution for sending a DDP output directly to a local printer. There are several methods that will accomplish this requirement. However, in this video we will be using a combination of Dropbox and AutoPrint. Please note that we do not support AutoPrint or Dropbox, so please direct your questions to their support teams for troubleshooting issues related to these products. A link to both Dropbox and AutoPrint will be included in the documentation. First, you will need to set up a Dropbox account if you don't already have one. Once you have an account, Dropbox needs to be installed on the computer that has access to the printer. Once Dropbox is set up on the computer, navigate to sendtodropbox.com and enter your credentials to connect your Dropbox account. You will be given an email address. Document and keep this email address in a safe place as you will need it later. Send to Dropbox creates a folder called Attachments in your Dropbox folder. Whenever an email is sent to that address, any attachments will be placed in that folder. Once signed into Send to Dropbox, you will be taken to a screen where you will choose how it will organize the email in your Dropbox. We recommend the order Attachments, Subject, File Name. This will be important later. Next, you will need to install the AutoPrint software. There are other softwares you can use to AutoPrint documents, but we have found AutoPrint to be the best solution for AutoPrinting. Once AutoPrint is installed, direct the software to watch files inside the Attachments folder created earlier within Dropbox. Next, create a new printer folder with your desired settings. This will create a watch folder inside your Attachments folder with the printer name you supply. Take note of the name of this folder as it will be important later. Next, you must tie all the pieces together by linking a DDP email delivery option to the watch folder set up in the previous step. You can do this with either a Salesforce email delivery option or SMTP email delivery option. Note that if you use Salesforce email delivery option, you will be required to create a Salesforce email template that includes the watch folder in the subject. In either delivery setting, make sure to have the subject line be the exact same name as the watch folder that is in the Dropbox attachments folder. Also be sure to have the email delivered to the email that was supplied by sent to Dropbox. If you wish to automate the entire process so that a user only needs to click a single button to auto print a document, you can use additional button parameters to specify the DDP and delivery options set up for this use case. This is not a requirement, just an option for additional automation.